I am making a video uh, regarding um, unvaccinated nursing students facing a hurdle to graduate and get their degrees. So I saw this article and um, I decided to make a video about it because a lot of nursing students are working as unit secretaries as they go through nursing school. So this article was about how some nursing students who choose not to get vaccinated are struggling to complete their clinical training and get their degrees. And it was, it, it interviewed a college here in Florida, it was in Fort Pierce, right up the road. And um, it was the Indian River State College. And of their 329 nursing students, only 150 are vaccinated. So that's less than half are vaccinated. And this college has a contract with eight medical facilities in the area, so different hospitals, things like that. And, you know, when you're in uh, nursing school, you got to do your clinicals, you know, to the, the, the do hands-on, you know, treatment with real patients. So and we, we, that's what we see in hospitals. We, we, we know, we know, nursing and when they're getting their clinicals. But um, so out of the eight, a hospital, well, eight medical facilities that they're contracted with for the students to do the clinicals. Um, some of them are only requiring vaccinated nursing students. So they may have a mandate. So let, let's say you got eight hospitals and six of them require that the students be vaccinated. Well, if you only got 150 that are vaccinated out of eight hospitals, so they can go you now you have the remaining who are not so the, and they only have two hospitals that they can do their clinicals at so um the the associate professor at the school said it's been a nightmare trying to move the students around so you got over a hundred students that can only be at two hospitals do you understand what i'm saying so yeah it is it's you know because of the mandate and you know hospitals requiring their employees and everyone in there to be vaccinated and they're also requiring it for the students so um technically because article talks about how president biden the administration said a new federal rule will come out in october which is this month that requires healthcare workers to be vaccinated some health experts said that they believe the nursing students at clinical training um will need to be vaccinated too so Technically, there's nothing in writing. There's no, no rule. No, there's nothing. It's just the president saying what he says. It's just like with the OSHA. You know, if you had, um, uh, if an employer has over a hundred people, everyone has to be vaccinated. But there's no rule. There's nothing written. It's just him saying. You know, so um, you know now states can do certain things so we saw that in new york with the state mandating that all you know healthcare workers and teachers and things like that be vaccinated states can do that they have been writing they have you know whatever's going on but it's nothing federal so i made a video about um someone i knew when they were talking about the nursing homes that if uh, a nursing home receives medical, you know, receives uh, payment from uh, medical from Medicare, that all employees had to be vaccinated, and nursing homes were first. And the person worked at a nursing home, and they gave their two weeks notice because it was supposed to take effect like October first. So they gave their two weeks notice. They worked out their their shift, and then um, so here it is, two weeks later, and. Uh, they were talking to somebody who still works there and they're like, you know, there's still people here who are unvaccinated. Yeah, because there's no, there's nothing in writing. It's just President Biden saying what he said. There's nothing, like there's nothing behind it. So, you know, they were a little salty, but not really because uh, they could still be employed, but you know, it all worked out. Everything, everything is fine. But um, yeah, so we are gonna see how all this, this work out. Um, students who refuse vaccination and don't qualify for the exemption may be disenrolled from the program or may be unable to graduate since they cannot fulfill their clinical requirements. That's, that's the big issue. 
So, you know, the students who are not getting the vaccine, you know, the everything that they worked hard for, because you, you're doing clinicals, you you had a you you almost there. And um, so, you know, people people are putting in the, being put in a um, a hard hard place. I know I had a, a comment on one of the videos where the person worked in the hospital and the hospital was requiring that they be vaccinated and then they were also in school and the school you know the college it was requiring it too so they felt pressure from both sides and you know i i feel for anybody who um feels the pressure you all know where i stand if you don't know where i stand uh i'm not getting it i ain't getting it for nobody because <laughs> I ain't mean, like nobody that much <laughs> to be doing all this, but um, but I do understand that people are under pressure. People got obligations, things like that. So I, you know, I feel for um, anyone who really does not want it, but feel the pressure. So I, I, I feel for you. But um, yeah, that's all I have to say. I, I just wanted to make this video because a lot of unit secretaries are in nursing school. You be you be surprised. Some tell you and some don't. Like the person that trained me down here at this hospital, she was in nursing school. I didn't know it until one day I'm walking down the hallway. I was coming from the cafeteria or going to the cafeteria and because they had like a lot of conference rooms down there in the basement. And I looked, I was like, that looked like, <laughs> and it was, it was her. It sure was, it was her. And uh, I was like, I did not know that she was in nursing school because she was doing her clinicals. I said, I did not know that the whole time. So, so sometimes you'll know that they're in nursing school and sometimes you won't. I, I've seen that a lot, like the CNAs. That's kind of why I kind of, you know, well, I do respect CNAs because a lot of them are in, in, are in nursing school. They're, you know, and in, in they're doing what they what they do. Um, so, you know, I, I do respect them because I, that, that's, that's a lot. It's, it's already a lot working in the hospital. You're seeing it firsthand and then, you know, but it, it pays off in the end. So, but um, if you have any comments or questions, you can put them below. You can also follow me on my blog. It's Jamie Marie Booklist. That's where I talk about being a healthy unit coordinator. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.